Martin 304 stainless. First, we will start with uh, clearing out the face, and this will be at 500 RPM. using a carbide uh, parting tool. Using the fingernail technique. A blade works very well too, but you know, fingernail is a lot handier. I want to make this 250 bow or quarter of an inch. So we'll go 250. Actually, I'll make it 260, just to leave a little bit of extra room. I'm going to touch off and start feeding by hand, and then I'll engage the automatic feed. The chip is peeling off very nicely and at present we are about a hundred thou in on the diameter which is 50 thou on the radius. Getting deep enough that I'm going to start dripping the cap magic in. Radius. Next, I'm going to turn up the RPM to 205 and also increase the feed rate to just about 7,000 per revolution. And the chips are forming a lot better once again. Which is on the radius. Point seven on the radius. Oh, sorry, point six five. And I think that's it. And that's about it, and I cannot really advance any further. And now to call in our friend Stanley, reverse the direction of the lathe, and let's see how that goes.
bit grindy, that means that we're pretty, pretty much close to the end. And there we are. Still pretty sharp. I can hold it in my hand. So it's not uh, red hot. And the surface is, you know, obviously the, where the parting blade went, it's really good. But even where the saw blade uh, cut, it's not crazy. It's not crazy bad. And it's only a relatively small amount that was cut with the um, parting blade. About 0.3 inches was not cut by the parting blade. And the total diameter of the 304 is uh, 1.638 inches. Uh, so pretty decent cut with the um, cut off uh, blade. Uh, a few scratch marks over here uh, from the uh, hacksaw. I guess if I had been a bit more careful, I could have avoided those. But you know, this will be easily cleaned up with uh, the use of uh, uh, a quick uh, facing pass. The faced part uh, end rather and the cutoff end pretty decent.